United States House of Representatives has passed legislation to establish the first crypto task force on digital assets. On Tuesday, the House of Representatives passed the Eliminate Barriers to Innovation Act of 2021, a bipartisan bill, if passed by the Senate and signed into law, would establish a digital assets working group comprised of representatives from the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission (CFTC). The bill is co-sponsored by House Financial Services Committee Majority Leader Patrick McHenry and FinTech Task Force Chairman Stephen Lynch. During the House floor debate, Republican Leader McHenry stated, what we need is a conversation between those two entities, SEC and CFTC, about the nature of digital assets and cryptocurrencies. McHenry bemoaned that each agency views these new markets differently, as either securities or commodities, leaving a gap that he described as regulating neither fish nor fowl when it comes to this new creation. American citizens are missing out on innovation and the benefits that come with it. This is one of the few pieces of technology in the last 100 years that has not been developed in the United States, McHenry said. If passed by the Senate and signed into law by President Biden, the working group would be the first of its kind in the United States. According to the bill, the members of the Digital Assets Working Group must include employees from both the SEC and the CFTC, as well as at least one representative from each of the following six categories. 1. Financial technology firms that offer digital assets. 2. Financial institutions regulated by the SEC or the CFTC. 3. Institutions or organizations conducting academic research or advocating for digital assets. 4. Financial technology-related small businesses. 5. Organizations that protect investors. 6. Institutions and organizations that encourage investment in businesses that have historically been underserved. The new working group would be required to provide a report on the legal and regulatory frameworks related to digital assets within one year, including the impact that a lack of clarity on digital assets has had on primary and secondary markets. The group must also investigate the impact of the regulatory regime on the United States' competitiveness in comparison to other countries. The group would be expected to make recommendations for digital assets such as 1. Make recommendations for improvements in the primary and secondary markets for digital assets. 2. Standards for digital asset intermediaries custody and private key management. 3. To reduce fraud and manipulation in cash, leveraged, and derivative markets, strengthen investor protections for participants, and meet Bank Secrecy Act (BSA) obligations. The report would be sent to the appropriate House and Senate committees, as well as the SEC and CFTC. A House debate examines how the United States lags behind in terms of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. In support of his bill, McHenry stated, the fact is that the Bitcoin white paper written by someone calling themselves Satoshi Nakamoto is more than a decade old. McHenry went on to say that the new creation of cryptocurrencies is now valued at more than $2 trillion globally. The bill's Democratic co-sponsor, Chairman Lynch of the FinTech Task Force, spoke on the House floor about the global proliferation of digital assets. According to one estimate, there are 4,000 cryptocurrencies and digital tokens in use today, Lynch said. Lynch noted that the United States has a history of enacting new regulations in the aftermath of a financial disaster, and he cited his bill as an opportunity to enact regulations ahead of a potential financial disaster. Lynch stated that digital assets have the potential to improve make transactions more efficient, improve the raising of capital for small businesses, and increase inclusion in the financial system when discussing the benefits of new markets for the U.S. economy. 